Hey gorgeous CEOs, welcome back to another episode of the Witsmack Show and today I literally wanted to share step by step how you can sell out your high ticket offer through just content. Like I'm going to give you all the four steps that I take with my clients that the students of Copy to Cash Academy take with me inside the program that brings them insane results. So we are going to talk about that and let's start, okay? First of all, I wanted to call out one of the things that I see a lot of people making mistakes around and that is trying to replicate other coaches content that helped that coach sell out her offer and let me tell you that this will 100% not sell out your offer. The reason why you feel like I need to do this is because you don't know your audience well, is because you don't have a clear messaging, right? And that is why you feel like I need to replicate that because you, and also because you don't trust yourself, you don't trust your content, you don't have a good content strategy. That is the actual blunt reason behind this that you feel like oh my god i need to replicate that and i've totally been there i'm not saying that you are a culprit for this okay i've totally been there where seeing a coach or mentor's content seeing that they are killing it in their business seeing that their content is working and it's like you love your content because it's so activating and you feel motivated by that and you feel like i just need to replicate that for my own content thinking that this will help me make more sales somehow right and this is such a bullshit move i have been burnt out by by it by my by myself okay and it never works the reason is you have totally different audience you have totally different style of writing and your audience is used to your style of writing and the biggest thing is that you have a totally different messaging even if you even if you have a competitor who has the same number of followers, who has the same kind of offer that you are selling right now, and who has the same kind of, let's say, something else, right? You have all, everything like similar, okay? And even if you try to replicate their content, it's not going to work. Because there will be people, first of all, there will be people who will be following both of you who wouldn't understand why should i join theirs over this person's right so you have no way in which you are sharing why you are different from this person first of all secondly you need to have a totally different messaging because when you replicate someone else's content your messaging shifts your messaging changes and which means that your messaging is not consistent in every content that you are sharing which is the biggest red flag for high level clients to invest with you because they don't see a consistency in your messaging and they feel like the person who is selling this offer herself is not she is confused right she is herself not clear about what is she trying to sell why right so your messaging has to be so much more consistent around this it has to be so much more consistent that every single content and i'll share in just a moment in one of the steps of being like how you can bring so many ideas around just one messaging that you have your only job is to share that messaging once you have your messaging clear of like this is my offer messaging right once you have that clear you just have to share the different content types that share the same message over and over again because repetition is key repetition gets your repetition and consistency in your messaging both are the same things right but it gets your offer sold right so how do you sell out this let's talk about that instead of doing all of this you really will never feel like i need to replicate someone else's content because you would be so much more better and you would have so much more clarity after going through this podcast episode you'd have so much more clarity about being like this is what i'm sharing right this is what my content is this is what my messaging is and i don't need because there's once you have this clarity because as i said in the beginning the reason why you feel like you need to replicate someone else's content is because first of all you don't know your audience well secondly you have no clarity about what your cons what your consistent messages messaging has to be and thirdly you feel like you really don't believe in your content yourself 
and let me tell you you need to repeat your message you can't be like i just shared my message i've been selling my offer for like three days and no one has inquired that can't be possible like i'm not saying that that can't be possible what i am am saying is that you can't just talk about your offer message for three days and be like i'm not seeing results because people need to hear about it eight times seven to eight times which worked before for example in 2020 <laughs> now people need to hear about it double the times right so people need to hear about your message like 14 times so at least talking about your offer and your consistent message in every single content that you share for consistent 14 days is what i would expect you to do and then see whether or not there have been no inquiries right so let's talk about the steps which is what i promised you in the beginning right so what are the steps that you need to take in order to sell out your high ticket offer with just your content step one is call them out with what they are already looking out solutions for so bring their attention towards you and towards your content how you do that is you map out their micro goals and their micro problems in their daily life okay secondly you create headlines of content providing solutions to these micro goals and micro problems which will grab their attention towards you and towards your content now that you have their attention step two is to create content around this and position your messaging as the solution to these problems right so now that you have their attention you want to position your messaging as the solution to their ultimate problem or the ultimate goal that they are already actively looking out the solution for don't i don't want you to focus on the solutions or the problems that they are not even aware about right i want you to talk about the problems like the headlines of your hooks are most important okay so the hooks has to be things that they know that they can be like yes i'm going through that that they can self select and be like yes she is talking exactly to me because that is how you speak to high end clients they literally want to be spoken directly to them right so in the step 1 you have described micro problems and micro goals and you are creating headlines around those micro problems and micro goals to bring their attention towards you and towards your offer in step 2 what you are doing is insider content of all of these headlines that you've created for the content you want to position your messaging as the solution to their problem right the problem that you're talking about in the headline so here's how you do that why your messaging works even when others messaging or others solutions have failed for them so they might have joined other offers similar to that why your offer would still work even if other offers other similar offers have failed for them Secondly, why it will work for them even if they have these objections? Because let me tell you, there are people going to be like, it will work for everyone else, but I am going through this specific scenario and I have these specific problems, which is why it will not work for me. And that is the biggest thing that you want to, these are the objections, but these are just like objections of being like, I have the biggest problems of the world right what are those biggest problems you need to know about this as i said in the beginning you need to know your ideal client really well if you want to attract them and if you want to sell to them right make sales so really knowing about these objections and showing them how even if you have these objections even if you're going through some rough patches even if you have this particular scenario or whatever right whatever objection they have they would still get results why they would get results even if they are going through this thirdly how it brings the transformation that they are looking out for right connecting the messaging to the transformation right so you've you've given them the solution in the form of your messaging of being like this is what you need right this is what you need to get the result but how does that actually get them the result so connecting the solution or the messaging that you've shared with them to the transformation that they actually want in their life this is how you build trust towards your messaging right and showing them that this 
messaging, this will definitely work, right? So building more consistent, sorry, building more certainty towards your messaging, right? Now, step number three is to repeat your message multiple times through different content that you're sharing. You want to repeat, repeat, repeat. So how do you do this? Call out their message, sorry, call out their mistakes and repeat the message. Share your or your client's results and repeat the message. Share value and repeat the message. Give them aha moments and repeat the message. Share the myths in your industry and repeat the message. Share what you, what is your opinion and repeat the message. Like literally, there are multiple ways in which you can repeat the message through different content types and sell them on your offer messaging. This is how you sell them on your offer messaging. Okay. Now, step four. Our last step is create content that activates your audience to jump inside your offer. Because so far, what we've done is we've attracted them. So in step one, we attracted them towards you by sharing headlines exactly about the things that they are actively looking out the solutions for. In step two, we made sure that we are positioning our messaging as the ultimate solution to their problem. In third, we are literally repeating the, this message again and again and again and again. And now, once, because in the third step, what we are doing is that we are selling them on our offer messaging. Now that they are sold on your offer messaging, we, you just want to get them inside the offer. You want to activate them to be inside your offer. So how do you do that? You show the kind of results that are possi possible for them inside your offer. How can you show them that this is what's possible for you inside the offer? You increase their certainty in your offer. Build their confidence in your offer. Why is now the time for them to join your offer? What are they losing out on? What are they missing out on if they are not joining the offer now? Right? And not talking about things like you would not learn this skill or et cetera, et cetera. Things like you want to talk about things like what they are literally missing out on and like the difference between where they would be five months from now if they don't join versus where they would be five months from now if they do join, right? Things like that of being like what they are missing out on, what they could be having, what they could have right now if they joined versus where they would be if they didn't join, right? What is the ROI of your offer? So literally like activating them to join your offer. So those are the steps, but let me share a few things before we close this podcast episode. When it comes to selling out your offer through content, I have seen these three biggest mistakes standing in the way of your high ticket sales. One is inconsistent messaging throughout your different content types. So you're sharing everything, you're sharing different content, but there's, cons there's no consistency in your messaging. And that is the biggest red flag for people for high-end clients especially to join your offer secondly content that is created for high level clients but positioned for low level clients what i mean by that is that the insider copy of the content is literally for high level clients but the but the headline itself is created for low level clients so maybe it's just attracting low-level clients, which means that everything that you created inside is not being read by high-level clients, which means that all of the work that you've done in creating that content and feeling that I've created the content for the high-level client, but it's still not bringing the results is because you've positioned it for low-level clients, which is what you don't want to do, right? Third mistake that I see is not being able to position your offer as the solution, the ultimate solution to their daily life problems related to your niche. So if you're not able to do any of these things, these are literally the three things that lead to high ticket sales disasters. So the content that you write should not only give them a solution to their problem, but it should also shift their perspective around how your solution brings them the transformation with certainty. Now, when you do that, you have content that sells out your high ticket offer. 
because every content inches them closer to taking action, closer towards your offer, closer towards being inside your offer rather than someone else's, right? And this is what students inside Copy to Cash Academy do and see results like hitting their highest cash months, right? Um, and literally like hitting their highest cash months after being inside the container for just a few weeks or sustaining their high cash months because it's depending on it's dependent on the attraction marketing not on some manual lead generation reaching their high income goals going from a cold audience literally no one reaching out to a hot audience where every week new new people are reaching out to join their programs and this is possible for you too inside the copy to cash academy so feel free to steal and use these methods because they work and i teach more in depth in on this inside copy to cash academy whenever you are ready to sell out your high ticket offers without sales pages without sales calls or needing needing to do hectic lead generation and sell out through just your content join copy to cash academy the link is in the show notes and that is it i hope that you've literally got so much out of this podcast episode because it's literally like step by step this is what you do to sell out your high ticket offers if you've loved this episode make sure that you give a feedback if you'd like to or just send me a message dm on instagram at the rate with smack social and i'd love to chat with you thank you so much for joining and i'll see you next time bye